Hi, I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stalls TV. Proper loading of your garment onto your heat press makes all the difference in finish quality results. You can have real issues when you get different types of garments and different constructions of seam structure within the garments that cause print through, through your graphic, and also heat press markings on the item when you're decorating it. I want to show you a few of the popular garments that are out there in the industry and some of the tools that are available to you to show you how you can print these accurately every time. Let's start with the Racerback softball jersey. So over at the heat press, if I take a look at the construction of this uh, type of uh, softball jersey, we'll start with the uh, blue one here. Um, you can see a couple things. It appears to be nice and flat when I load this onto the heat press. But what's happening is um, there's no real good way to load this to print a name and number across the front because there's always going to be this seam structure um, on the press and getting absorbing pressure which causes a risk for this glossing up and leaving a heat press mark. Also if I'm to lay my graphic flat across here, um, it's tough to see in the video, but there's the uh, seams behind the jersey right here that are going to want to print through the face of my graphic or even if it's even if my graphics within that it's still going to cause a gloss area on the garment so let me show you um, just how most uh, rookie heat printers or those heat printers um, who don't know this tip yet would load this garment and print the shirt so if I'm to throw this onto my heat press position my number position my name. Everything's within the seams pretty much, so not too much risk there. Um, take the proper step and covering everything with a cover sheet. And then heat pressing it for the recommended time, temperature, and pressure. Remove the backing from my print. Uh, print looks great. It'll be nice and durable, but here's the challenge. You start to see that print through on that area of the garment, and you also start to see, it's tough to catch on video, but you can see the, um, the color change here um, on the seam structure, uh, where this blue that was raised up a little bit. Um, with fabric, extra fabric underneath it is starting to gloss up. Um, and then you're also starting to get um, a little bit of glossing and marking on the collar of the garment as well. So obviously that's not the way uh, we want to print things. How could we avoid that? There's a few different ways um, that you can avoid this. Uh, number one is with a Hotronics heat press, you have something called uh, threadability where I can actually split this garment and, and thread it onto the lower platen. Now that's going to get rid of some of it. I would get rid of this print through because now um, this back of the jersey is hanging beneath the press so it's not going to print through. Um, that's not going to completely eliminate some of this glossing on this particular seam structure. So another tip we could use for this application is load a uh, smaller platen to reach this print area. With the way this jersey, cut, jersey is cut, that's going to be extremely difficult as well. So we have something called heat printing pillows um, that can be very beneficial for an item like this where the seams actually uh, recess down into the pillow. Um, so they sink down in and so you don't really have any issues. Uh, number one, in this case it handles the print through because all the seams are behind. Um, and it also gives somewhere for the seams to sit down in and the collar to sit down in to help to eliminate that heat press marking.